uh, that God has given me. And I, I try to tell, I, it's one of the things that I wish that my family gets saved, my friends get saved, and everyone gets saved. And the only thing that can keep you out of heaven is you. Is you. And I've been telling my friends, they may, they may not come, they may not, well right now we, we, we can't, but it, I had one of my friends call me, and me and him used to run together tough. We, he was, in case you could tell you, I, I'm going to call his name, his name is Ricky Russell. His name is Ricky Russell, and Ricky was a tough one, and he would question me about the things I preach about and we talk about it, but here lately he told me the other day when he called me, he wanted to meet with me, so when I met with him, make a long story short, he told me he had been watching me every Monday night. He watching the sermons and that man that had really been dealing with him and him and I said, man, I'm just doing what God had called me to do. And there's a lot of things I don't even understand, Rick, but as I go, he said he'll go with me. And I tell everybody, one of the first things about getting right with the Lord is you just got to do right by him. He said, give and it shall be given. Amen. He said, give and it shall be given. When I met him the other day, he gave me a generous donation. He said, I've been listening to what you're saying about paying tithes. I've been listening to what you're saying about uh, helping children, helping people. But he gave me a generous donation. And I said, Rick, that's how you start right now. And, and amen, that's all you got to do. Amen. Just do what the Lord say do. And he wanted me to put it towards helping the kids. So I told him, whatever you do and how you do it, let's do whatever God put on your heart. Yeah. So the donation he gave to us, and I'm not trying to toot his horn, I'm not trying, because everybody do their part, but when, when, when somebody like Rick, out of all people, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. I'm not putting you out there, Rick. I'm just saying what I'm saying. We know we boys, and I love you. But do what does say the Lord. He said God been making ways for him, amen. And that's his testimony. He said, man, I'm, I'm, God has been opening doors for me. He said God has been supplying all my needs, and I want to give so God can continue to do what he's doing for him in his life. And for those who may not have to give, don't worry. Don't worry. You may not have it to give. Don't worry. But just keep doing what does say the Lord. You keep praying and you keep wanting the desiring. Because the Bible tells me he'll give you the desires of your heart. I fought hard to get here this morning. I've been fighting hard.
going to take his name your life. With our team ears and heard, God, I pray, God, that you come now like never before. I pray for you to increase my defense, Lord. I need you right now. Father, hide me behind what's able to foul in your sight. Speak to me and speak through me. Use me in whatever way you see fit. Lord, bless those that are in hospitals, bless those that are in jailhouses, comfortless at home. Lord, right now, I ask a special prayer. God, I ask a special prayer upon the whole family right now. Touch her right now. Touch her right now. Touch his daughter right now. Touch her right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. I'm praying, God, for all of those that are lost right now. I'm praying for all those that are sick on drugs, alcohol, whatever they found themselves captive in, Lord. I pray for them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Give honor to God ahead of my life. Give honor to the Instagram, the deacons, deaconess, his mothers, members, and friends. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise for the hour. Musicians, amen. Thank God for him this morning. Amen. Amen. Thank God for my wife. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Great media, God is good. Let's turn in our Bibles to chapter 16 of 1 Kings. 1 Kings. Chapter 16. I thank God for all those who've been praying for me this week. Amen. Amen. Especially the prayer warriors who, amen, you can call on at any time. I thank God for them this morning. They know who they are. And I just don't ask anybody to pray for me. But I thank God. Amen. I thank amen. God. Amen. Oh, Oh, well, will drain, will bring new water to soul. The Lord told me to revisit that last week. We had another week, two weeks ago, we talking about what's blocking your blessing, what's stopping your blessing. Amen. I want to show you something in this chapter. We all have to say amen. amen. Then the word of the Lord came to Jehu, Jehu the son of Hananiah, against Behasha, Be saying, for as much as I exalted thee out of the dust and made thee prince over my people, Israel, and thou hast walked in the way of Jeroboam and has made my people of Israel to sin, to provoke me to anger with their sins. Behold, I will take away the prosperity of Baasha's and the prosperity of his house, and I will make thy house like the house of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. Him that dieth of Behasha in the city shall the dogs eat him that dieth of his in, of his in the field shall the fowls of the air eat. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. With the help of the Lord, amen, I want to talk from a subject thought when sin, amen, short circuits your blessing, amen. When sin short circuits your blessing, amen. God, who is our loving Father, amen, wants us to be blessed, amen. He wants his children to be blessed abundantly, amen. As Father, he wants us to, he wants to meet our needs. He wants us to have more than we have, amen. He not even wants us to have, supply our needs, but he also, amen, wants us to have some of the desires of our hearts. As his children, amen, he expects us, amen, he expects us to walk with the vocation wherein, amen, we have been called. Amen. If we are to be the recipients of God's blessing, amen, it is imperative that we follow his mandates. Amen. Right. Amen. amen. Whenever, whenever we got to the point that we fail to acknowledge God as our giver of every good and perfect gift, as the sovereign God of the universe, amen, the Lord and Savior of our lives, we run the risk. Amen. We run the risk, amen. You can y'all look at your neighbor. We run the risk of short-circuiting our blessings. Amen. We run the risk, amen, of short-circuiting our lives. We may look good, All right. but it's just for so long. Right. Amen. We may even seem good, All 
But that's only. But for so long, we may shout, preach, amen, and pray good, but that's only. But for so long, why? Because God has short circuited us. And when sin causes us to be short circuited, amen, daylight become midnight. Happy days are filled with misery. Right. Songs of joy have no meaning. Hope is amputated. Peace is castrated. And joy is frustrated. Right. My brothers and sisters, amen, that's what happens when sin causes your blessings, amen, to be short circuit. Right. The other week we talked about what's stopping and blocking our blessings, amen. Uh, it's easy, amen. We know sin can cause some problems, but when you look in the mirror, you're stopping your blessings, amen. You're blocking your blessings because you allow all these things to come, amen. But when you put God first, amen, nothing can stop you, amen. Nothing can keep you from the love of God. Amen. When you put him first, amen, you, you got to put him before everything because anything that you put before God, amen, that's your idol, amen. If you put little Johnny and Ray Ray before God, that's your idol. If you put your home and your car before God, that is your idol. In this text, amen, yeah, the in the text, 16 deal with the sinfulness of a nation. The kings of this chapter were spiritually dead. And a consequence, as a consequence, amen, the people, amen, followed their leaders into a cesspool of sin. Amen. We always tend to follow what look good and sound good. Their behavior, amen, was so treacherous, amen, that it provoked. God to anger. God is God is not happy when you put stuff before him, amen. He is God and all God all by himself, amen. You cannot put nothing before God. It's dangerous, my brothers and sisters. It's dangerous, amen, to provoke God to anger. Because look what the Bible says in 2 Kings. Amen. 2 Kings 22 and 17. Because they have forsaken me. I have burned incense unto other gods that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hand, amen. Therefore, my wrath shall be kindled against this place and shall not be quenched, amen. Then what are you, what are you saying? It's not a good idea to put something before God, amen. It's not good to put something before God. That should have no other God before me, amen. You should not put nothing before God, amen. Buddha sound good, amen. But, uh, Confucius sound good, but nothing sound like the name Jesus, amen. The Bible said, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess, amen. Can I tell you, this Sunday morning, a lot of times, you get out your bed, amen, you come to church, amen, because, amen, you think uh, you're doing a favor to God, amen, you ain't doing no favor to God, amen, because coming to church ought to be something that ought to be in your heart when you come to church. You ought to have a song in your heart when you get out your bed, amen. You should, that ought to be the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning, even before you get out your bed, you ought to have a little talk with Jesus, amen, because you don't know if you're going to make it to the bathroom, you don't know if you're going to make it to the kitchen. You ought to have a little talk with Jesus. Just a little talk with Jesus. We'll make everything all right. We'll make everything all right. A lot of people come to church. You got people coming to church because you think the church needs you. You know, the church don't need you, amen. What, what, what the church needed people to come with a, with a praise on their heart, with, with singing on their lips, amen. Because I'm here to tell you, the church don't need you. We need the church, amen. It's a bad thing, amen, to ignore the gods, amen. The king and the nation continue to ignore God or their fathers. Yeah. The God who had been so good to them, the God who woke them up in the morning and started them on the way, they long, amen, to ignore God. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of us, amen, tend to ignore God, amen. Yeah. Amen, you ignore God when you, amen, come to church and gossip, amen. You ignore God when you come to church with intentions to put others down, amen. You ignore God when you come to church, amen. Not come to church before to praise him or to lift him up. You you, you ain't hurting nobody but yourself. Amen. You ignoring God 
the deeper you will sink, amen, you will find yourself sinking deeper into whatever you are engaged in, amen. And when this happens, amen, you will find out that you have short-circuited your blessings. Yeah, yeah you short-circuited your blessings, amen. You wonder why uh, You wonder why things ain't happening to you, amen. You wonder why, amen. You, you wonder why you're getting left behind, amen. Look in the mirror. Look at what you done found yourself in, amen. Look at what's keeping you back, and you want to blame everybody else because your money funny. You want to blame everybody else because your health failing. It ain't nobody's fault but yours, amen. It ain't nobody's fault but yours. You wonder what's wrong with your blessings. Amen. You are hurting your blessing. Amen. You find your blessing being short circuit. Behasha, amen. Amen. He perpetuated the practice of calf worship. He started doing and worshiping gross idolatries and everything. What I read about it, man, it is evident that Bahasha and the people would rather have a God they could see. Amen. Than a God that they could feel, amen. They, they was opposed to, amen, whatever the God in heaven was in there and was raining down on them. They wanted something they could see, amen. I, I, I thank God for Shadrach and Meshach because they did not bow. And see, a lot of times we're bound down to idols, amen. Guess what, God? Your president can be an idol. Your mayor can be an idol. Your governor can be your idol. It's some rooted two preachers running around. They want to be your idol, but can I tell you, amen, nobody, nobody should be put before God. You don't let you don't bow down before no man come man will let you down, amen. You don't bow down before no one come they will let you down. People will let you down. I said it the other week. I'm not found out, amen. I'm putting all my trust in the Lord because I don't support people that have to lie for a living. They all lie. They tell you you're gonna do this when they get in there. Then you find out they don't do it, amen. They say they go, you just do this for me. I got this for you. And nine times out of ten, everybody that you put have lied to you. Put my trust in the Lord. Amen. The Lord is going to get through. The Lord is going to get me through this coronavirus. The Lord is going to get me through, amen, what we're going through now. And David said it best. He's been young and old, but never have he seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Leviticus 26 and 1 says, You shall make no idols, nor graven images, neither real you are a standing image. Neither shall ye set up in the image of stone in your land to bow down unto it. For I am Lord your God. God will not suffer his children, amen, to put anything before him. Can I tell you what Isaiah, Isaiah 24, 42 and 8 said, I am the Lord. That is my name. And my, God, my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. In other words, amen, in other words, we have put, amen, we have put, amen, our job before God, amen. Can I tell you, in other words, we have put our home before God. We have put our positions, our money, and a host of other things before God. Yeah, yeah. All right. And can I tell you, can I tell you, amen, that's sin. That's sin, anything that you put before God, that is sin. Whenever we trust more in things than we do God, amen, that is sin. I give our time to things more than we do God. Guess what? It allows sometimes, amen, us to soak in the juices, amen, of our consequences. In other words, we will get just what we deserve. Whatever you put in, amen, that's what you're going to get out. Whatever you put in. If you don't put nothing in, you ain't going to get nothing out. Amen. If you don't put no time in prayer, you ain't going to get nothing out of prayer. If you don't put no time in praise and worship, you will not get nothing out of praise and worship. Amen. I'm sorry. It just happens that way. And a lot of us sit around. We all know them, amen, want something for nothing. Want something for nothing. Want, want somebody to have a pity party over your situation, man. Can I tell you? Don't nobody, man. Everybody don't care that you lost a loved one. Everybody don't care that you lost your job. Everybody don't care if you if you ain't got no money. So don't worry about thinking people feel sorry for you. They don't, they, they, they don't feel 
feel sorry. If anything, they laughing in your face, they may smile in your face and stabbing you in the back. They don't feel sorry. So whatever you so into, that, hey man, that's what you're going to get out of it. Want somebody to feel sorry? I, I'm learning, man. I, I, I'm learning. I, I don't want nobody to have no pity party over me. If I'm going through it, man, I know we put it do it for a night, but joy come in the morning. And I know that, hey, man, if I, if I have to go and I go all by myself, guess what? I know God said he'll never leave me, nor forsake me. So don't have no pity party for me, hey, man. Don't cry for me. Got people sit around. Mama may be gone, daddy may be gone. Guess what? Sooner or later, you're going to be gone. That's right. That's right. That's so right you got to pick up the pieces yeah. and shake the devil off yeah. and pack them under your feet. Yeah. Amen. If anything, amen, just get, amen, just wait a while. Trouble don't last always. Amen. Amen. Sin, amen. Can I tell you what sin is? Sin is everything and, and anything that displeases God. That's right. Sin is everything and anything that displeases God. And, 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 or, or, or either disrespect God. Right. That displeases God. Amen. That dishonors God. That destroys God. All that is sin. Amen. God sees all. Mm. Sin yes. is sin. Right. God does not deal in, amen. He doesn't deal in Mr. Mean. He don't deal in misdemeanors, amen. Can I tell you, all, all sin is felonies, amen. I, I'm here to say, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, you, you don't get no community service for this, amen. You don't get it, amen. One of these days when it's all over, you're going to pay for it, amen, amen. Nothing that goes on under the sun, the Lord said that you would not, amen, pay for it. Sin, God does not deal in Mr. Meaners of Felons, amen. Everything to God, amen. He is the judge and the jury. One thing I like about God, you don't get put on probation, amen. It's either you're going to be guilty or not, amen. But the Bible tells me that all have sinned, and amen. Come short of his glory, amen. Just do the best you can while you can, amen. Because I'm here to tell you, one of these days, amen, when it's all over, can I tell you, you ought to thank God for Jesus, amen, because he died. You wonder why I go to every Sunday, amen? Because he died, amen. And guess what? When he died, amen, he said that Father forgive them, for they know not what they do. He died, amen. He said, let this cup that he died. He died. So the only thing that can keep you out of heaven is you. I don't know what in hell they want, amen. I don't know what it is in hell you want. Some of you, amen, may have a little money. Amen. Johnny Cochran can't come back and do it for you. Amen. Some of you may have a little money. Bruce Harvey, Ed Garland can't do it for you. Only thing can do it for you is, Lord, you say, I repent. Amen. You got to turn from your wicked way. You, you got to leave it alone. Because can I tell you, he's passing out sentences. And I don't know about you, amen. I, don't, I, I, I know I've been convicted. But I thank God for the blood, amen. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again, amen? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I'm going to give you three points and I'm gone. I'm going to give you three points and I'm gone. Amen. Number one. Number one, as children of God, amen. The practice and the pleasures of sin, amen, should not be among our desires. Should not be among our desires. James 4 and 17 says, Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and do it not. To him, it is sin. Amen. Amen. In other words, if, 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 if it is right to obey God, then it is the wrong and the sin to disobey. Amen. You got to do right, amen. You got to do the best you can while you can. It's it, it just some people always say, well, God knows what I was going to do before I do it. 
really, man, that's a, that's a bad statement to make, amen, because anything that's sin, God has nothing to do with it, amen. You always talk about God knew I, what I was going to do before I do it. Guess what? He may have did, but guess what? He don't deal with sin, amen. So if you're going on down the road to get your sin on, can I tell you, you all by yourself, amen. And that's a bad place to be is all by yourself. I know I need God. The reason why I need God, I need him to walk with me. I need him to talk with me because I can't do this alone. I tried it for myself and it just don't work, amen. Nothing can separate me from the love of God. It just don't work. It just don't work. I tried it my way and it don't work, amen. I thought I was doing good, but it just don't work, amen. I've learned to put my trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not to my own understanding. I don't know about you, but I love the Lord and every time I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me. I have to say hallelujah. I have to say hallelujah. Number two, can I tell you, amen. Sin moves God to turn his ears. Can I tell you sin moves God to turn his ears and close his eyes. I gotta tell you what the Bible say. Amen. The sin to close, uh, he closes his eyes and turn our prayers away from him. Isaiah 1 and 15 said, and when ye spread it forth your hand, the Lord said, I will hide my eyes from you. My Lord. Amen. When you make me in prayer, I will not hear them. I don't know about you. I need Jesus. Amen. I, I said it before. I I don't want to just be sending up smoke signals, amen. I want the Lord to hear my prayer because I know there's somebody sick that need a prayer right now. I know there's somebody got a child lost, amen. Not only for others, I need God to hear my prayers, amen. That's some steel, that's some things I'm standing in need of. And sometimes it's not my mother, it's not my father, but it's me, oh Lord. I'm standing in need of prayer. Sometimes my walk gets shaken, but I need Jesus, amen. Sometimes my talk ain't right, I need Jesus, but as long as I got Jesus, amen. I don't need nobody else. As long as I got Jesus, I don't need uh, a friend to walk with me. As long as I got Jesus, I don't need nobody to talk with me because Jesus, oh, what a... <laughs> many prayers, many prayers, many prayers will not be heard from his ear. Don't worry, baby, I see it. Amen. I thank God for it. Amen. Many prayers will turn a deaf ear. But when they're not coming through your mouth the right way, amen. Can I give you number three and I'm gone, amen. Sin shames us before yeah. come on, come on. sin shames us before others, amen. You find you wondering, amen. You wondering why. You're not where you all think you ought to be because sin, amen. Can I tell you, verse 3 says, I will take away the prosperity. He told Basha, he will take away the prosperity and the prosperity of his house. Verse 4 says, to him that died in the house of Basha, in the city that dogs shall eat, amen. The dogs shall eat of them, amen. And to him that died in the field shall the fowls of the air eat, amen. In other words, amen, your blessings will soon be short circuit, amen. You wonder why, amen, you, you still stuck by yourself. You wonder why your little life like it is because your sins have been short circuited, amen. You think that somebody care, amen, that you crying all night long. Don't everybody care about you crying all night long because guess what? Your sins have been short circuited. What you need to do is look in the mirror and wonder why and see what's going on in your life because sin was short circuiting your blessings. Amen. Can I tell you another word? Let me tell you what could happen. Amen. Sin causes a fear that cannot be removed. Amen. Can I tell you what sin does? Sin causes a heartache. Amen. That cannot be eased. Amen. Can I tell you a storm that cannot be still? A problem that cannot be solved. That's what sin causes. Amen. I know you have fun in your little sin. Amen. Everything that fun ain't sin, but amen. Sometimes when you're sinning, it is kind of fun. Amen. You go on and put it down. Yeah, I had a good time doing wrong. I had a good time, but can I tell you, all oh, sin, amen, is sin. And, and you got to realize that what sin does, it's a burden that cannot be lifted, amen. You got to realize, can I tell you, sin can replace love with lust, amen. Joy is sorrow, comfort with pain, peace with confusion, assurance with anxiety, honor with 
disgrace. That was sin, though. So my brothers and sisters, amen, when sin is in our lives, amen, we need to say like David, created me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me. When the sin is in our lives, we need to ask God to restore unto me the joy of our salvation and uphold me with our free spirit. When sin is in our lives, can I tell you about a man? I know a man from Galilee, amen. If you are in sin, he will set you free. I know a man from Galilee, the same God that short circuit your blessing will be the same God, amen, that will restore his power in you. Is that anybody that felt themselves sinking in sin, be away from a peaceful shore with it? Can I tell you? I know a man from Galilee, can I tell you? He walks with me, he talks with me, and tell me that I am his own. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? He died, amen. Didn't he die? Can I tell you? He died. Didn't he die? But early, early, one Sunday morning, y'all, that's when you ought to get happy. He got up with all power, soul saving power, forgiving joy back power. This joy I have, the world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it away. I love the Lord. He heard my cry and pitied every one of my groans. He walked with me. He talked with me. And tell me that I am his own. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know about the living of God? Do you know about how the rose of Sharon? Some don't know about the bridge over troubled water. Some don't know about the shelter in the time of storm. But I know him as Jesus, my bright and morning star. I know him as Jesus, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi. I know him. Thank God for the, the roof of your head. 
You may not even have a car, but thank God for the two legs he gave you to walk on. You got to thank God for what you have.